Hi friends, welcome. In the part one, we have uh, taken a long text and created a PDF document using template and we have used the Collab platform to do that. And finally, the PDF file we have downloaded. So this long text we have broken, broken into multiple pages and created the PDF file. Now same thing we'll do, but we'll use canvas. So in the same Collab platform, we'll work on it and generate the our PDF file with mul long text. So multiple uh, uh, pages will be there and automatically page breaks will be introduced. So finally, we'll download the file to our local system. Visit this URL, it is there in the description. Scroll down and you will get all the details, all the tutorials, whatever we have discussed previously. And if the part one video is also there. Now at the end of this one, this is the this is the using the canvas, the entire source code is available here. And here you will get the link. Click this link, you will be taken to the GitHub page. And in the GitHub page, this is a Jupyter uh, file and you can download it the source code also. Here at the top, you can click and open the in Cola platform, the same source code. This is a Jupyter notebook. You can download it. Just visit file. Then here you will get it, download it at Jupyter notebook or .py file, whatever you want. And you can run all entire source code, run all or run one by one. You can just check and execute and you will get the finally the output. You can download it to your local system. We'll start from here, we'll start again and first we'll do is pip install report lab. So this will install the package for us. This is the first time. So it will take a bit uh, time to install it. And after that, and moreover, this is the Google Cloud, uh, Cloud platform. It is freely available with your Gmail ID or Google account. Just uh, type collab and go there. So you will, uh, and it's a cloud platform. So anywhere you can work and you need not install anything in your local system also. So now this is uh, because it's not a part of the standard library. So it is uh, importing and installing report lab. It's one time you have to do it and it's available in the runtime. So every time you uh, log in again and start working, you have to again install it. So that's all module is imported. Now some modules I am pasting it. These are the modules within the report lab. I'll be working in it. So fine. These have got installed. Now create a, I will just create a PDF document. Now I will just add a uh, fine code here. Now what I am doing is my path equal to now I am giving my PDF. So in your case, if you are running it in the local system, then you have to give the directory name, then uh, drive name, directory name and all the full path you have to give it. Now create a canvas after that. Let me move up a bit. Here it is. Create a canvas. So here I am adding it. So C equal to canvas. Uh, now canvas. Now my path my path is just above whatever I have declared it there then page size equal to letter. Now this letter I have imported at the top you can see here it is I have just imported it here so that I am using it here. Get a sample style sheet next. So let me just run it also once. So I'll sorry my path I, I have to run this one first then run this. Okay, now I will get a sample style sheet. This I can modify it. I will start with a basic one. Let me just put the uh, style sheet here. here. Styles equal to get sample style sheet. Fine. Now let me create an object. Style equal to styles normal this n will be in upper case fine let me just run it see if it is through okay this is fine now here is a long text this is just i copied it written something you can write your own story here whatever you want to write and note that i have multiplied it by five means this is repeated five times it's a long text i am just creating it and i am using that so now let me just after this long test, certain dimensions I will declare because it's a canvas I am using. So I'll some dimensions. Now what I will do page width 
then these are the variables page height i will take it from letter letter is at the what the dimensions at the top so width and height it will take it from here and it will store in this variables phase width and height now let me just put left margin equal to 50 i'm just fixing some values for it now right margin equal to 50 now what happened top margin same i am putting now bottom margin equal to 50 so now usable width what is the usable width here now page width minus left margin minus right margin now similarly usable height equal to now page height whatever i have got it page height at the first line here here i got the page height similarly page height minus uh, top margin minus bottom margin so this is my i got the usual now this will be using it so what happens initial position of the first paragraph if i will take it now i have to set it now so two positions x equal to left margin sorry this should be i'll write it x equal to left margin now here y equal to page height uh, minus top margin fine now i got it now what i will do i now i will split the long text to small one one line and i will create a list out of it so for that that list name para paragraphs equal to now long text this is what you have declared at the top you can see it here yeah this long text whatever you have written so long text now i'll split it this is a string method to split it across the line breaks so wherever line breaks is there it will break it and create a list for me so now next what i will do i loop through one by one and add it to my canvas so for that i am just let me move up a bit fine for paragraph text in paragraphs paragraph just above that i have declared it so paragraph text each each a loop it will take paragraph text one line of text it will take now what i am saying is paragraph equal to this is the module which i have imported at the top paragraph so that is at the top you can see i have imported this yeah here you can see this is the one that one i am using paragraph now here first what is the text paragraph text this is uh, each loop by the variable which will take it then style style i have already declared it at the top here it is you can see it here here it is style so this i am using it here so style i got it now next i will say what is the width and height of it so i will say width height width and height equal to now this is became paragraph dot wrap it now here you us a usable width what you had find out at the top we have got it usable height so these two we got it at the top you can see it here here usable height usable width line number six seven that i am get using it here so now now i will adjust it based on that whether the how the height will be just see this code if y y position y minus height minus height is less than this height i got it just above now i am getting it bottom minus margin bottom underscore margin so bottom margin whatever if it is less that means i have to go to the next page so that is the purpose here so what i am going to do if that is the case c c is my canvas so page fine 
now i'll adjust the reset the y position y equal to now new position page height page height minus top margin because it is no more the same page it has gone to the next page margin so it is uh, margin now i will come out of this if condition but inside the loop what i am going to do is i will create it inside on the uh, canvas so what i will do paragraph dot draw on now here c c is the canvas x and y position but here y minus height fine i got it now i will once this is done now reset the y position so what i will say y minus equal to height minus eh, sorry plus 12 12 is the gap between the lines so that 12 you can keep on increase or decrease that so I, you will get a different gap so fine now this is over what i will do now next is i will save this c dot save <coughs> So my canvas is saved now i will sorry this should come down a bit yeah then now i will add the code to download it here you can see nothing is there so i will run it once again and see so for downloading it it's a collab feature so from google collab import files now files dot download now here the file name i'll give my pdf dot pdf so let me just run it once again up to this i think let me okay here let me run this okay now let me run next one here nothing is there you will see how the file is created fine now the paragraph is created i am breaking it now i am saving it so now sorry what happened it can only be say okay document instance can only okay i have to run it again now let me this time I will run all the code one time uh, run all so it will because it is already installed so it will not be installing again now modules are imported my PDF PDF now one by one okay finally I got the window where it is asking me to save it so save and if I will repress this you will get it yeah my PDF is also available here also I can download it here and this last um, part of the code this two only gives me the download window that's all friends hope you have a good learning experience and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we are adding new new tutorials and we are frequently doing it also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching